I just got back from Java One, and one of the new resources that came out of this conference was Learn.Java. This is a place for beginners, students, and teachers of the Java programming language. So if you're here on the website, you can go ahead and start here. Why Java? This is some good background on why you might want to learn Java or become a Java developer. And if you want to, you can go ahead and get to the different sections of the website here. On the landing page here, we have Why Java, the Learner's Corner, and the Teacher's Corner. As we begin to scroll down, there are some really great videos for getting started. If you wanted to learn about local variable type var, there's a good video on some theory on why it exists and when to use it. Uh, so go ahead and watch that and the others here. Now, if we go into the Learner's Corner, we can go ahead and click Learn. This is the following table of contents uh, to follow the suggested curriculum map and contains linked tutorials for teachers and students to better understand Java. Now there's some links in here for some things. I imagine this will kind of grow over time, uh, but there's also a practice section where you can go in and start practicing. One of my favorite features of learn.java and dev.java is the Java Playground. If you don't want to get set up with an IDE or a text editor for Java development and you want to just write some code and play around with it, this playground will allow you to do that. So we are here where you can see we're using Java 24. We use the latest version of JDK and we can write some code. We can go ahead and run it and see the output. We can also click into samples and take a look at some samples. So if I want to see what a, a record looks like in Java, I can see some code for it here. I can go ahead and run it and we see the output. So just a really great resource for students, teachers, and anyone wanting to learn the programming language Java.